challenges, funding gaps, but still, rail transit is speeding ahead. Work has already begun to prep roads in Waipahu for the elevated platforms used for the $5.3 billion project. And that's just one of the many physical changes coming to the communities in the rail's footprint. And here to talk about ways we can all have an input in the nearby areas of rail is Terry Rare. He's a manager with Honolulu Trans Oriented Development. Good morning and thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. It's early. Yes, it is. And thanks for coming on. It's well, okay. you've got a series of meetings and this next meeting is focusing in the Kalihi area. So there's three stops in Kalihi, right? Right. That's correct. Middle Street, uh, Kalihi and Kapalama station stops are all in that segment. And then we have another series of meetings that are coming up in downtown and those will cover Evil A, Chinatown, and the downtown station stop. So when people go to this meeting, what exactly are you looking for, for when people give their input? Well, the definition of transit-oriented development is to create development that's compact, walkable, high-density communities. And so what we're looking at is not for them to talk about the transit system itself. I know that there are a number of people, obviously, who have concerns, but it's to talk about what they want in their communities. Many of the areas have needs for housing, personal services, additional retail, educational facilities, and so these meetings are to talk about what are those elements that are missing in their community and how would they like to see it develop over the next 10 years, 20 years, 30 years. So when it comes to the different transit stops, it, they're all going to look different in terms of what's around them in terms of housing, retail, parking lots, and so forth, right? As they do today. I mean, yeah. if you go to Pearl Ridge Shopping Center, it's a regional shopping center. If you go to Leeward Community College, it's a community college. So as the system develops and as each of those neighborhoods develops, we're going to build on those strengths, but then try and add those elements or ingredients that are missing. Maybe it's more housing. Some areas already have quite a bit of housing, so maybe it's more retail services. So they will look quite a bit different. So for someone who is opposed to rail development in their community, is this meeting for them? Is this the, is this the venue for them to voice their opposition? Well, of course, these are public meetings, and so people are welcome to come and express their opinions. But to answer your question, no. It's really to talk about your community. This is really about community building and community development, not really about the system itself. Mm -hmm. And you said during the commercial break that uh, attendance to these meetings has been relatively poor. Uh, why do you think that is? Well, when there's uh, an immediate issue, so when there's a development project being proposed, people turn out because they're concerned the change seems immediate. Mm -hmm. The change here is really going to be fairly long term over the next, as I said, 10 to 20, 30 years. And so People have immediate needs, they've got to feed their families, they've got to go to work. I think oftentimes when you talk about long-range planning and visioning, people kind of glaze over and they just don't think it's important right now. But at some of the meetings I've told them, instead of coming when the fire is going, mm -hmm. come help us design the fire sprinkler system. And so this is an opportunity if you have concerns about what might happen to come and say, I wouldn't like this to happen, I'd like something different to happen. All right. Well, Terry Ware, good luck with your meetings. Uh, Terry Ware with Transit Oriented Development. Again, these workshops begin at 6 p.m. and the first one is next Monday on June 27th at the Kalakoa Middle School in Kalihi. And then on Tuesday on June 28th, another workshop will be held at the Hawaii Community Development Authority on Cook Street. And if you'd like to watch this interview again, you can go to the morning section of our website by going to kitv.com slash this morning. The time now is 620.